Hello and welcome back to Spellfest. Today episode we going to this portal. And honestly that probably are my only objective. Go through the, this portal, start to quick scout. I don't have energy for you know entire mission, two hours episode or anything. Uh, just quick uh, rundown, I uh, used this armor because it gives 6 stamina just like my previous gear, but it also gives me on top of that 20 armor. And I spend like all my gold mm, to buy this weapon. It's not the best, but it's very easy to use. It requires heavy combat arts 5, which is level 10. And don't cost me additional efforts in my build to like go for example 5 blades uh, instantly at level 10 which is doable i just don't know if i wanna commit to that if i can uh, for example invest armor and single point invested in uh, heavy armor it just give me better helmet right out of the, of the bat plus armor investment and shield investment is generally like okay Natural kill steals. Mm. I have such feelings about the searchers. Oh, level four. Okay, my XP. Actually, I don't wanna go there with DK. Get fucked. Mine. Oh. Okay, that trigger uh, cuts in. I didn't know. Wait. <laughs> Come on now, we've got to move on. Mm. Those were elves. Why are the elves attacking us here in the middle of Urga? We are in Urga. Tell him, Grim. Do you know the tale of Arin, the Frost Weaver, and his pact with the elves? The legend of the Winter Dragon? Of course I do, but... It's not just a legend. The dragon is just as real as Senwin, the queen who sank from beneath the ice. For thousands of years. But no longer. The ice elves have abducted the queen from the glacier, so that Arryn might rise again and fly looking for her over the land. And envelop them with eternal ice. As it was thousands of years ago. But their pact with the dragon was always sacred to the elves. Sacred? Only sacred because he gave them the power of ice magic. What could be better for them than an eternal winter in which they possess absolute power? So you and the resistance forces are no longer fighting the orcs, but rather the ice elves? Yes, they came one moon ago and drove the orcs out of Mirathor. Then they concealed the queen in a prison up there in the city. We're trying to liberate her with the aid of the refugees. At first I couldn't believe it, but Grim is right. Who 
else knows the queen's hiding place? Who else could survive the eternal winter that the dragon brings? Hmm. Whoever says beauty must always have a pure heart. If this is your battle, then it is mine as well. Really? <sighs> okay, I don't really care. I mean, I didn't like that my character said that beauty always have pure heart and say that he he will she will simp. Basically, I understand that this game is fucking twenty years old. So, uh, but uh, you know, women should have alternative dialogue than uh, you know, uh, Haley. A highly anticipated lesbian style a dialogue. Wait, wait, can I go there? This guy looks like interesting mm, trading. Fire servants, them. Oh fuck no, oh fuck no! Oh. Mine. Oh, I still hear them. This master archer don't take any damage from me. Mine. Mine. Ah! Oof. Okay, mine. Yeah, 20 damage is mine. Green is piece of shit. Did you see that? Mine. Easy. Yeah, it's important that full last hit the, the that get XP, so... Wait. I need my full mana and cooldowns to continue. Frost elves are, are extremely strong for me. I honestly wonder what the fuck is with difficulty spikes because I was tryharding very hard in the previous map. And now I'm facing with difficulty spike that is beyond my tryharding. I don't wanna use this. Fuck. Uh, two minutes. Okay, that was idiotic. Uh, let's just say 60 seconds. Because honestly, realistically speaking, you don't have to have it ready in at the beginning of combat unless you are extremely unlucky. Which we might be. There was Ice Mage, not just, you know... My character should sprint faster when he goes for attack. She goes for attack. I forgot I play woman.
Tak. Nie, yeah, I just wanna make sure that I... No! Almost! Did you saw, saw that attempt of killing stealing? Yeah, that was extremely close. Will I get monument here or something? No, here are some side pieces. I would say I'm doing pretty good job with these ice wells. And look at this. You can trigger another fucking stone. Very good. I kiss my nice, nice. I will save here. This is very fun. I, I mean, I know I'm tired more than, you know, bored. But... Are you talking to me? Stinking slime trawler! Disgusting freak frog! What in the world are you talking about? The witness! A giant poisonous toad devoured my brother! You mean the animal whose tongue I tore out? The tongue of the Wumpus! My brother is avenged! At last! Take this as a reward! Mm -hmm. Easy! We already did the quest! I call it stuff. But we already use it. Ring of Acolytes. But it's kind of useless compared to my current item. Okay, as for level 8, we naturally can go ice. As for other ability, we can go shields, I assume, or heavy armor. Heavy, heavy, ar heavy armor! And there is why. This gives me less armor by half, but gives me strength. Strength increase my damage. <laughs> yeah, pretty nice work. So, as level 8 we have access to more spells. We could spend a lot of money to obtain better ice burst. But it's slightly better only. Okay, better ice shields uh, are much better. This one is too worthless. If, if it would be level 4, I would consider it. Okay, right now I have too little money for it. And honestly, I don't see much point of selling myself just to obtain it. Helm of Spellsinger.
Animagic Ability 5, part of the sentence. We do not have our spells, but if I would be a white mage, I would possibly like be very into this item. Mm. Strength, stamina, agility, dexterity. Uh, not bad. It's not great, but also not bad. It's... This... Light armor, annoying, wait, this... Mind magic, annoying. This is too weak. This is possibly one-handed, so maybe that's why it's so expensive and hard to use. Okay, I would like to afford this item. We need single gold. Honestly, this should be an option. We are close. You need to be patient, you don't wanna sell something that might be useful. This requires a shield for this requires shield two. That's two completely different shields. This require white magic, but you cannot sell it because even if you are not white magic, one silver. White magic, mind magic, okay, this is nearly useless. I already have one, so yeah. Okay, and this should be an ouch. Yes, barely. It's much better weapon. Even if you only look like 25%. This scales. <laughs> Greatly. And my entire build is all about scaling itself. Wait, really? This is like... Okay, we still need to go here. By the way, I really like this DLC. So far, because it makes sense. 
It treats player like he would have knowledge from base campaign max. And expand the lore. It's not offensive, it doesn't treat, teach you basics. I wanted to last hit because that was too close to death. Last hit. Okay, I get ice shield that I refused to bow to before. I definitely save here because I feel like I was lucky with that ice shield. Maybe if not much, it's still like uh, pretty fortunate loot. I would prefer level 4, of course, but I don't wanna be like picky about this. It's always upgrade. Now it uh, lasts one second more and freezes for 0 0.2 seconds longer. So it's uh, like 20% better. Of course it sounds like trash, it was completely not worth money, but it is absolutely worth using when you have opportunity to get it free. Yeah, here I am basically running away. Actually, fuck it. 57. 66, why not? Oh fuck, please don't freeze me. I'm not sure if that last one was mine XP or not. Uh, I feel treasure here. I have this sense of treasure in uh, at the end of this road for some reasons. I played way too many open <laughs> world games or basically an exploration games to like not go there. I was trained like a fucking Pavlovian dog, like a fucking monkey. <laughs> oh, I go, I go here. I find secret loot. Yes, and I will have easier time in, in future. No, 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 not this time. This is fucking spell for suck deep. Okay, there was nothing. But you, you know what is the problem with Blizzard, uh, the, the, the games like this? You, there will be nothing like uh, four times, but fifth times there will be something. And this fifth time is a notch for me to keep checking. As for stat points, I don't know how to uh, distribute my stats. I would assume dexterity. Will be one of my like major stats, as well as stamina. I wanna add five here. Maybe five here, and we start going to thirty-five here.
<sighs> As for uh, elemental magic, ice and uh, fire and earth. The orcs always kept it locked. Even they are afraid of the Imperials. We believe the White Priestess now has the key to the gate. Weird. Totems can attack through this gate. I assume they didn't test it everywhere. So in some locations you can attack, in some you cannot. Shaldun. I don't remember this location, but don't care. Really? Why? Makes no sense, but I will take it anyway. I mean, we almost finished, so I don't know what enemies should throw at me to be impressed at this point, but why not? Large blade weapons 5. Oh, this is 100. Uh -huh. I'm taking 200 because he cannot uh, handle good shield anyway. As for items... Fire servants, destroy them! Stamina 3, we start from there. Stamina 3. Wisdom, Charisma. Dexterity, pretty good. Uh, we rather use him as fighter than anything else. Yeah, he's not complete garbage. Follow me. Forwards. Follow me. Quickly. Oh, look at that beast man. Follow me. Yes, some humans, refugees. Grim and Lena. Me? Nothing. I'm just an old man. I'm not interested in those things anymore. He have earned blade. Oh, I see. Back then, <laughs> Lena came to us with Dunan and Rewis. She was initiated in magic by the Ice Elves, and she met the two rune warriors there. She's a good girl, and her heart's in the right place. That Grim must be an old acquaintance of hers, like you. He came to us one day after the Ice Elves had captured the city. Lena arranged for him to live with us. And since that day, he has taken over the leadership more and more. I think he's a little too hot-headed. But Lena and the others like that. I mean, honestly, uh, he was pretty impressive with saying that they they are doing something. Uh, I, I like that because when you are in a situation that overwhelm you, doing something is always better. No, 
tell me about this land? I've already told you about Neroth Thor. However, there are other routes leading to other regions. In the north, the road leads to Frostfall, which actually belongs to Fiara already. If you climb the mountains there, you get to Turgenach, to the land of the Ice Elves of the Arin Cult. To the east of the city, there is yet another portal, which is usually closed off by a gate. It leads to the lands of the Crimson Empire. That's not a place you'll want to stay. Even the orcs keep the gate perpetually locked. Tell me about the Crimson Empire. Shaldun, the Burning City. Once one of the greatest cities of the Dark Elves lay there, until the ground split apart and gave birth to a fire-spitting mountain that devoured half the city. Some Dark Elves interpreted this as a sign from Sarak. And so they now regard the city as their holiest temple. Hmm? But the Dark Elves are pledged to the Night God Nor, aren't they? That sect from Shaldun may still acknowledge Nor, but they consider themselves the chosen people of Zarach. They study the magic of the fire, and yearn to sacrifice in flames the other lands to their lord. Let's hope that gate stays locked up forever. Pretty Pogus. Do you know the saga of the Winter Dragon? Ha! Huh. Who doesn't know it? Tell it to me again. Hmm... The Winter Dragon. That's Arin, also called the Frostweaver. When the lands were still young, and the first children of the gods walked on the face of the earth, the dragons ruled the skies, and the mightiest of them all was Arin. He was the essence of winter. Wherever he flew, the land froze to ice. He moved across the world looking for a companion, a creature that was his equal. But all life fled from his chill. When his icy breath reached the great elven forest, Finon Mir, Senwin, the last queen of the elves, set out to beg him to have mercy on her people. Alone. In the frozen wasteland, she sang to herself to keep her courage up. The dragon hearkened to her song high above the clouds. He came down and listened to the song of the elf. The melody warmed his forever cold heart for the first time. Then he asked the elf to join him and remain by his side forever. And so, Arryn flew off with Senwin to his home in the north. He wove a thick ice shell around them. Today we call it the Frostweaver Glacier. Down there, under the ice, she has sung for him since that day, while the dragon sleeps. In return for her sacrifice, the elves were given the ice magic, and the world had spring again. Yes, when all said and done, we owe it to Senwin that the people and the kingdoms ever existed in the first place. Because otherwise, all life would have frozen solid in the dragon's winter. Mm -hmm. I, I don't like it. I mean, it's not that bad. As you see, this game have lore. This lore could even rival the Warcraft. Despite some edgy themes, this game is relatively mature and uh, cool written. What do you know about Tiaganach? That is a city on the Frostweaver's Glacier. High in the mountains of Fiara. The elves who live there are different from the common wood elves of Fiara. They are masters of ice magic and live according to strict rules. They ferociously defend the glacier and their holy places. Many people believe they are not true servants of the light anymore. They say that they even challenged a rune warrior in the Battle of Fiara. So you think they're dangerous? I think that power can destroy the spirit, but I can't imagine an evil elf, if that's what you mean. <laughs> uh, the game exited dialogue itself. Quickly. Okay, that was nice. He don't give any quest, just lore information once. 
That's also quite refreshing. Normally, every NPC you meet want you to like perform for them some quest task. Yes, they resist ice more, and they resist fire. What is interesting, they don't don't resist. Wait. Cloth pants agate. Weird, I killed someone in first mage and didn't get any good food. At my sign, go. Mm. Wait a moment. And go. I forgot to like try this. But what if I solo use him alone? Yeah, instead of taking my companions for steal my XP, I will use him alone. Holy shit, if I would knew before there will be hair on my moment, I would not murder everything with my mind character. Oh, it's still decent. So we made it to the end of the location, we hid a lot of lore and we killed a lot of elves. I'm tired. Uh, like, holy hell, I, I, I need some rest. Thanks for watching, that was pretty fun.